Hey guys, welcome back to Bombay TV. Guys, we're going to be reacting to one of your suggestions. Today will be Dr. Miriam Grossman, Destroy Gender Ideology in 5 Minutes. I have a friend who is called Miriam, but I always call her Mariam, and she always gets upset. And let me also give this video, but like, let's get straight into this. Thank you for your testimony. The chair now recognizes Dr. Grossman for five minutes for your opening statement. Thank you for the opportunity to address you. My name is Miriam Grossman. I am a board yeah, certified child, adolescent, and adult psychiatrist, author, and senior fellow at Do No Harm. I have been taking care of patients for 45 years. Cool. I'm going to use my time to respond to Dr. Boy, McNamara. First, I'm struck by her use of the phrase sex assigned at birth. Sex is not assigned at birth. Sex yes. is established at conception and it's recognized at, at birth, birth, if not earlier. Dr. McNamara claims that her views are science-based but to claim that sex is assigned at birth is without any scientific basis whatsoever. Its language misleads people, especially children, into thinking that male and female are arbitrary designations and can change. That is simply not true. Dr. McNamara claims Sucks. that social and medical interventions are the only evidence-based treatment and that scientific evidence shows it is life-saving. Without it, she's warning us, kids will commit suicide. Well, a growing number of countries have effectively banned the care to which she's referring. And thank God, there's been no wave of suicides or other mental health catastrophes. Hello. Three years ago, Finland placed strict limitations on medical interventions for minors. Sweden did the same thing after a 14-year-old girl was found to have osteoporosis and spinal fractures from puberty blockers. An investigation concluded, quote, the risks of anti-puberty uh, and hormone treatment for those under 18 currently outweigh the possible benefits. The UK conducted a review and called the evidence very low. They've also placed severe restrictions on the care that Dr. McNamara calls life-saving. Norway also analyzed the data and has made similar changes in policy. The National Academy of Medicine in France warned, quote, great medical caution must be taken in children and adolescents given the vulnerability of this population and the many undesirable, even serious complications the therapies cause. Doctors in New Zealand and Australia have published similar statements. Is Dr. McNamara suggesting that all these countries are rejecting evidence-based treatment and placing their kids at risk of suicide? Regarding that point of view, Finland's gender expert, Dr. Rita Kaltiela said, quote, it's purposeful disinformation, the spreading of which is irresponsible. All seven countries, and Florida too, of course, concluded that kids don't need their development interrupted, the girls don't need their periods stopped and their voices lowered, and the boys don't need to grow breasts. What they need is psychotherapy. I have other objections to Dr. McNamara's testimony. She insists that her position, only hers, represents standard medical care. What she doesn't want you to know is that there is no standard. There's a debate. There's a fierce debate. And on the side opposite her stand such prominent figures as Stephen Levine, Kenneth Zucker, Paul McHugh, and James Cantor, among others. These doctors are giants in the field. They have been treating transgender patients and gathering data and publishing papers about them. And I mean no disrespect here but since before Dr. McNamara was born. The point is that those veteran clinicians and others who have wisdom and experience are ignored because they disagree with the current narrative. They're against medical interventions for the same reason those seven countries are. There is no evidence of long-term benefit, but there is evidence of harm. I'll end by quoting Jamie Reed, the courageous whistleblower 
from the Children's Gender Clinic in St. Louis. I believe that that hospital receives the medical education funding that we're discussing today. She said that doctors at that clinic said, we are building the plane while we are flying it. We are building the plane while we are flying it. That's how they described the treatment at their gender clinic. Our precious tax dollars should not support such a perilous experiment. Thank you. So, guys, she, she came for it like she was pissed. And I feel a lot of people are pissed in the United States about this, actually. In the world, like, a lot of people are pissed, but like, I like the fact that, I wouldn't say I like it, but like, Yes, I like the fact that some people are considered innocent that some I let me talk about the LGBTQ, but I don't really I don't I would say the gender changing is actually where I feel is wrong. I it's like for teenagers. Cause if you can say a teenager shouldn't like people below the age of sixteen in some countries, some countries eighteen. But if you can say they shouldn't have sex, you should still keep it that they should not be able to change their gender. And I feel that is something to do when you are 20, like old enough. And I feel it's a psychological issue because I don't feel any reasonable person wants to change what you were given to by that. Like this is a gift. You just can change it. It's like you're saying, I came on it by mistakes. So I have to kill myself. Like it's a psychological issue. And I feel it's wrong. Like it, I don't think it was stupid, but it is. And I feel right now in the world like people who are gays are actually giving respect most times they hide before but like remember it's always been there in Donald history that gayism is a psychological issue and what if it is but i feel it's more to it though i feel some people can have a heartbreak and nah i don't think that's possible maybe you feel when so much that you feel you should i don't know what like I don't mean no disrespect here, but let's say something I don't really understand, but people do it and I feel, I don't know, it's against my beliefs or my religion, but I'm talking too much. Guys, if you the like, share, subscribe to my channel, I'll see you next time. I don't want to get cancelled or anything like that. I'll see you next time, guys. Just